fishing YouTube channel what you're looking at right here is the number one fish catcher inshore in all of Northeast Florida locally we call it the float rig it is nothing more than a slip float this is a salmon float soft foam and there's these components to it this is where you set your depth and we locally use live shrimp and I have multitudes of videos about using this rig in shallow water deep water swift water calm water it doesn't matter you're taking a live shrimp and putting it about a foot or two off the bottom and using our natural ludicrous current that we have in Northeast Florida in the St. John's River to display a live shrimp over structure for speckled sea trout, every other fish in the world that wants to eat a shrimp, redfish, flounder, you name it. So I've done other little tips and about how to do this and it's getting where I feel like I'm doing some redundancy here about showing you how to put this rig together but this video is going to be simply about how to make your stopper knot a lot of people have huge huge problems with that right there it is so uncomplicated and it you don't need any bs you don't have to do anything fancy. You just do a simple knot. This is what slides up and down braid. I don't use anything but braid. Braid floats on the surface of salt water. And that is a good thing because float rig, what we call float rig fishing, is kind of like fly fishing with a live bait it's all about presentation setting your depth and then the float of course the float of course goes up and hits the stopper knot and then way below it we'll have a two ounce what we refer to as a trout lead i have a past video showing how to make what i call the insurance policy all right, this is the insurance policy here. It's a double line. I'll put the link to that video in the description below where it says show more to make and why I make a double line in front of my sinker. What I'm going to show you right now, very simple, is how to make a quick and dirty stopper knot. A lot of people use, I got them right here, a lot of people use like little rubber bands and things like that. It's really unnecessary to go out and have to have little rubber bands. On the end of this right here, I put a 20 pound mono leader anywhere from 24 to 30 inches with my hook and my live shrimp. 
and I know a lot of my subscribers are trying to get into float rig fishing. So let me show you how we make this little knot right here. Well, I'm going to use some black, like 30 pound mono so you can see it. Let's get rid of these because rubber bands are unnecessary. Those little packs of yellow uh, yarn that are on those little tubes, totally unnecessary. For us in salt water, HD, heavy duty fishing. It's as simple as what I'm going to show you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a length of this black mono. It's a little thicker than I would use. It's like I said, it's like 30, 35 pound test. All right. And I'm going to cut a piece about that long. You can see it's probably about a foot or so. And I'm going to get my 35 pound or 30 pound braid and all I'm going to do is make a loop around the braid. Alright. There we go. I'm going to I'm trying to do this so you can see it. Alright. There you go. I got it. On the back side, back side, all right, and then the front side, and I'm going to pinch it. This is nothing fancy, folks. This is nothing fancy whatsoever. So I got a loop around, there's the loop around my braid. This is my braid here. And I pinch it, and all I'm going to do is take, oh, I let go one of them. I'm going to do, this is behind, this is on top. This is a lot more difficult when you're looking through a uh, viewfinder. All right, so then all I'm going to do is go around my braid, around my braid, through the loop, around my braid, through the loop, around my braid, through the loop. Now I usually do this with the rod sitting in a rod holder and the weight holding it nice and tight over the side. So there you go, look at that. There's my braid right here going through all that and I'm going to wet this and I'm gonna pull it tight. Pull it nice and tight. So then you've got You got your tag ends, okay? That is what's really doing a lot of the work for you. I'm going to trim them off about this long. And that goes in and out of my level wind. Very easy. But then the two tags give you where you can snug this up and watch. It slides up and down your braid, but it's grippy enough, right? I need to pull this a little tighter up my teeth. And I like to use 20 pound mono that, like I said, this is heavier. I don't like using this, but I'm using it because it's black. And that slides just like this one. I got another one right here. This is one that's been on the lot on the rod or on this line for a long time. There's another one. 
and then you got this one. And that's it. That's a sliding stopper knot. See, this one's a little loose, so I would end up tightening this one up. And that's real simple. That's real simple. My float comes up and bangs into it with the small bead on top of it. And that's it. Stop or not. See, there's two of them. You don't need to put two of them on there. I'm going to end of that and take one of these off. But that's the stop or not. Everybody should have 20 pound mono on your in your boat with you because you're using 20 pound mono as a leader coming off of your lead when you're float rig fishing or slip cork or whatever you want to call it. And that's it. That's it. Using your leader material, same as leader, on braid. That's the whole ticket. This grips on braid. Good enough. Good enough. It slips on braid. There you go. So thanks for watching. This has been a little tip. And don't forget to check the link below for when I set this up. As you can see, there's my float to a bead, to another knot, to a double line, to my lead, and then off of my lead goes a 24 to 30 inch leader with my hook and a live shrimp. Why do I do this? Why do I use a double line down here? Well, check the video description below for the other tip and trick about float rig fishing. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. If you found it helpful, go ahead and give this a thumbs up like because on my channel there is tons and tons of videos about float rig fishing the traditional way of fishing the St. John's River area and basically from southeast Georgia to northeast Florida and even even beyond but this system catches everything that likes to eat a shrimp and it's easy for kids newcomers to saltwater and it's all about a system matched tackle and it really works so thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one Sitting around the house, got nothing to do. I think